Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a different sort of reading. Um, this will be more of a collective reading from your person but mostly channeling the energy of the divine masculine and then as well if i do come across any energy of the um divine feminine then i'll go ahead and speak out on what i feel about those two energies but this is a collective reading from the divine masculine because with my weekly zodiac um love readings that I do I've been within this last week I felt more of a divine masculine energy in a lot of my readings and especially with mercury retrograde being in shadow period right now I feel like maybe there's just some extra energy to pick up on for the collective so of course this reading may or may not resonate with you if it doesn't please don't take it personally um so I usually use my own cards, but for this general reading, I am using a few different oracle cards. So the first two oracle card decks that I am using are all from divinelifestyle.com. Um, you can go ahead and use the code Ari, the Taurus 20 for 20% off of your order. Um, I really enjoy a lot of things on her site for all things spirituality. I would definitely recommend checking out her site. Um, I believe Ari, the Taurus, 20 that code is good until the end of june but even if you do have or place an order you will receive 15 percent off so all the links to the oracle cards and then the site will be listed and linked down below but for this reading i'm using the fairy tarot cards oracle deck the arc angle sorry the arc angel oracle deck which is also from divinelifestylenow.com and then this is actually not from that site but we have the lovers oracle right here so i'm just going to be pulling some cards i already shuffled and got into the energy before i started recording um so yeah let's see what messages we do get for the divine masculine Ten of Winter, the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off of your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. It's time to take, or the Ace of Spring, it's time to take action, be fearless and happily pursue your, your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. Ten of Summer, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends. Rusing children wisely. People you can trust. I hope that says rusing. It's R-U-I-S-I-N-G. But people you can trust. Okay, so with these first three cards, with the divine masculine energy... And especially relating to the readings that I've done within the past week or so, I have been feeling that there's a lot of karmic cycles that are rerunning themselves and the people in those connections are just going through the motions again as far as the downhill moments in that connection. But I do feel like with those karmic cycles a lot of divine masculines are running into more of a heightened type of emotionally fulfilling just a fulfilling connection but if anything i have been feeling as if a lot of people may have been encountering a twin flame or a soulmate connection but especially with retrograde and everything those connections have been put at a halt and kind of at a they're like standing still right now because i do feel like a lot of divine masculines they they haven't 
completely let go of the codependency, but not also the codependency, but the ego that feels that codependency. So we have the Ten of Winter, the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction of codependency. I do feel like a lot of Divine Masculines are coming to more of a realization that although something fuels your ego, it's not fulfilling in other, other more meaningful parts and factors of yourself and your life as far as finding someone or connecting to things that really grow okay sorry i had to switch clips because my phone fell but i was saying that i feel like a lot of divine masculines are coming to more of an awakening but with that awakening they're not fully awake yet I feel as if a lot of Divine Masculines are coming to the realization that ego isn't fulfilling. Living in ego isn't always fulfilling. And with like codependency, as far as dealing with a karmic partner or cycle, codependency can make you feel needed. And when you feel needed, it's like you have a purpose. But then with these karmic cycles, a lot of divine masculine and even divine feminine feminines if because we all go through the same the same experiences in a way um and that's not to exclude the divine feminine but they're realizing that being needed can also make you feel drained especially when karmic cycles are taking from you and hindering your growth. So I do feel like a lot of Divine Masculines are kind of questioning what they really want right now and what's right. But it could be a hard thing to let go of your ego. So I do feel like they've reached like in a way an epiphany, but they're not trusting it yet. And this is why the Divine Masculine, they're somewhat staying in a karmic cycle, even if they're not 100% in one, they're at least still having those tendencies and those qualities of a karmic cycle that keeps them from maybe rekindling a twin flame or a soulmate connection. Then we have the Ace of Spring. It's time to take action, be fearless, and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So I do feel like this, the Divine Masculine, as long as they stay in that headspace and more living with ego and focusing on what makes them feel good, but in the end, it's not fulfilling. They're realizing that, but right now it's because with life in general, you have to know when to leave something when it no longer serves you. And that's what career opportunities and just because this is more of a general love reading there's definitely messages that can apply to other areas in your life with codependency we can have codependency in our everyday life whether it's going to work or feeling like we need to cater to people in order to receive something back and if you are contemplating the divine masculine is is a persona that can apply to your work life as well like you might be making very good money at your job and it affords the lifestyle you have but i do feel like for the collective and just people in the world we know that we would be so much more happier fulfilling our passions and if we can still manage to live off of doing that that would be so way more fulfilling than staying in the mundane and if you don't recognize those like your intuition yourself telling yourself that you need to move forward into something better even though that something better might not shine and be bright but it's something that would 
in the end make you happy especially when you commit to it and you make that the main view of your life once you start to just adapt and learn to it and be familiar with it because a lot of things are we have a lot of missed opportunities based off of not being familiar with what we're doing or not just taking the chance on something that's new so with the divine masculine take this for whatever situation this might apply to in your life recognize to walk away when something no longer serves you because when you do that you're telling yourself that there's way more things out here in this world that deserve my energy and that can reciprocate it and that will fulfill me in the way that I've always seek, seeked out to be. And just remember that it's all within because once you believe in yourself, you need to build the strength up to conquer what you have in mind and that's always possible. So just don't stay in something out of habit. Um, and as far as the Divine Masculine, if I'm throwing signs out there, this is a collective reading, but <clears throat> for my fixed signs, so Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, try to, try to do things differently because although <clears throat> those signs specifically feel as if they have it all together because they already contemplated a lot, Pisces, Cancer too, you never know until you you step out there and you try or you've been through it so just because you mapped everything out in your head and you feel as if you know what's best for you when that's still not giving you what you want always try to add more to it and then we have the ten of summer and emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends bruising children wisely and that doesn't say raising, it says raising children wisely, people you can trust. So yeah, I feel like this card, Venus is in Cancer right now and Cancer feels at home when they're around people, when they're by themselves, but in a safe haven. So I feel like this right now is a time where you look within but also look at the people you trust and it's it's a time to really try to be with people you love and trust because I feel like I did bring up being familiar with things and sometimes the fact that we're too familiar with things holds holds us back but when it comes to people we are familiar with and we genuinely trust them and feel like they're a good person for us, we can often go to them and take on new perspectives, new outlooks that don't stay us, sorry, don't stay or don't allow us to stay in the, in the same shell that we've all been in. And this is for my fixed signs I'm getting, but as a collective as well. So when we reach out to people that we do trust, it can bring wonders in. That's what I'm getting from this card. And with trust, always follow your intuition because with the divine masculine, the divine masculine can throw people off because of how they're feeling because ego gets in the way and when you lead with ego a lot of things that matter are blinded so if you're dealing with the divine masculine or even the divine masculine in yourself don't don't just stick to one way always try to switch things up a bit and what you're switching up doesn't have to go outside of who you are at all, but 
it could just be a different way of incorporating things in your life so you welcome better things into your life. So now I'm using the Archangel Oracle card deck. Clear your space, Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use Feng Shui. Clear audience, Archangel Zadkiel. Notice the loving, the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. And then prosperity, Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as your as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Okay, so with the clear your space, I've been meaning to do this as well, and I actually was getting to it this weekend, but just decluttering, because that does something for your body as well. Like, if your environment, and also I've been meaning the sage too, which I haven't gotten, gotten into um yet but there's a lot of energies that we take on from dealing with other people on the outside and I've always been into my own space my own like having my own room to come back to at the end of the day and taking care of it and making it a space that feels like my own home you know so that's very important to do and I feel like a lot of people don't realize this but many can relate to when you clean you feel better you know so take this time to declutter your life because a lot of things hold on to energy so for example and i need to work on this more but a lot of things hold memory to me i'm a cancer rising but it's i've done this like a few times there's still some things I need to get rid of but as far as like sentimental things that people have given me in the past that I no longer really interact with because of something bad happening or bridges were burned um, I hold on to that more of the memory of what that person once was but you have to recognize who's good for you who's not and I'm not saying the people in my past weren't good for me but Sometimes you just need to let things go in order to allow new things to come in. And that that is definitely energy-wise as well. And then with the clear audience, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So with Cancer being in Venus and Cancer all being about like being comfortable and a nurturing figure, nostalgia and a, a love... A lot of nostalgia comes from people in our life that has made us feel good or just memories in general so really try to take an outside perspective if you do have people out there that you do trust then reach out to them if you feel the need to or feel comfortable to also reach out to your loved ones and let them know that how you feel about them because a lot of realizations that may have always been in, been in our subconscious aren't really brought to the forefront until someone points it out to us. I feel like that happens a lot as well as it's just like someone giving you advice and you've already heard their advice in their head before they gave it to you and you keep doing what you would like to do until the person's advice really really makes sense because what they were telling what they were giving you advice on kind of acted out in reality and you didn't listen to their advice and then that's when we realize so sometimes when we this goes back to ego when we think our way is the right way opportunities can pass us and then in the end, we're like, oh, I should have been more clear, smarter in that moment to save myself from all the hurt, the pain, the loss. 
so just slow down a little bit and keep in mind that your way of thinking, your intuition is right, but there's also many other ways of thinking that can maybe be a better solution. Not, I'm not trying to compare thoughts with solutions, but just hearing someone out, especially someone who might give you say what's needed to hear, but it's not the easiest to hear. If it's coming from someone you trust and you know carefully, it's usually for for your best interest. And then we have prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. I said before, but we all have we all have it within. A lot of the answers we ask are all within. Um, and with ego being a thing, it's not really about what you have, it's like who you are, what you have on the inside. Because if you're right within, then what flows outwardly will, will match who you are on the inside. So, and this goes for love, career, financial, as long as you know that you're capable of it and you're doing what you can, then you you just have to wait and watch for it to unfold. You just have to be right within yourself. Okay, so lastly, I'm just gonna pull maybe one or two cards from the Lover's Oracle deck because I feel like this was more of a collective reading um, for love and even just any area of your life. And these are more love. Um, centered oracle cards so don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others okay so with this card take this message how it sounds how it is but in reference to this reading Sometimes we look out for everyone's perspective, and this comes from like a fixed mindset in a way. Like we look out for everyone. And maybe it's the cancer rising in me too, but when you, and I, this might sound contradicting in a way, but when you have a fixed mindset and you're so used to doing what you want to do, and I've said this message many times, but you limit yourself. And for me personally, I've caught myself saying I feel bad or I feel guilty because of looking out for other people because I'm so worried about how they may view me and if I'm being a good person. But if you're being true to yourself, you can, you're only being true to others. I know that's not what it says word by word, but if you're living with harmony and with a true heart, like pure heart for yourself, other people who cares about their opinions of you in general, but most importantly, I feel like your angels, your spirit guides, the higher power, they're, they're blessed watching you live in authenticity. So don't try to limit limit your mindset in the way where you think everything is on you and you have to please everyone because you're living for yourself, no one else. And that's a lesson I tell myself or I need to start telling myself all the time because I'm I'm a natural overthinker. And then lastly, it is important it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So yeah, I I feel like this card relates to that card, but also when we're dealing with karmic relationships or cycles or just connections, love connections, we we get so caught up. I'm really I'm enjoying this reading right now, so sorry if I'm stumbling over my words, but we get so caught up 
thinking about other people and sometimes we neglect who we are, our own self-care. And we let all these energies get to us. We don't even cleanse our energy or we don't make sure we're aligned on the on the inside. So sit sit with your feelings, your emotions and see what you learn from it. See how it makes you feel. See do some shadow work. Try to after dealing with so many energies and maybe putting yourself out there to be seen or for other people, ask yourself, sit with yourself and make sure you're okay doing that or realize how you feel. Because if you're becoming more drained after just trying to be normal in a way and communicating, socializing, giving to others in order to receive the same type of harm or harmony in life. If that's making you feel drained, then I know this is cliche, but there's many other fulfilling things and people out there for you. And I think a lot of people don't realize as much how fulfilling just knowing yourself is and being comfortable with yourself and at the end of the day, relying on yourself and knowing that there's nothing wrong with you but it's definitely a hard thing to do. So I, I understand that it's not easy, it could be hard. But I honestly feel like that's one of the first things or first steps to really seeing how life or seeing life how it is and how you make a difference in your life to the world because we're put on this earth for a reason and it shouldn't, our stressors or worries shouldn't always be about other people or a lot of mainstream components of the world that we live in today. But yeah, that's all I do have for my general, general divine masculine, feminine, general collective reading. I do hope you all enjoyed. Um, make sure to check out Divine Lifestyle now. Um, all of the links will be in the description. Let me know what you thought about this reading and if it resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe and I, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.